All right, today on the channel, we're gonna settle this age old debate, which is better, Costco or Sam's? In this round, we're gonna talk about rotisserie chickens. Rotisserie chickens are one of my favorite things to pick up when I'm going to Costco or Sam's for that matter. They're cheap, they're convenient, and you can make a meal out of them very quickly. Make sure you stay to the end of the video because I'm gonna show you how to break this thing down. They can be a little daunting when you're looking at it, you're like, what do I do first, what do I do second? It's very easy and very straightforward. I'm gonna show you how to do it at the end of the video. I got a couple little butcher tricks also that are gonna give you a couple pieces of meat that you may not have tried before. Chickens aside, are you team Costco or team Sam's? Put it in the comments, I really wanna know. I see what you're doing. Costco and Sam's put their $5 rotisserie chickens all the way in the back of the store. I have to pass all this other stuff. What, do they think I'm stupid? I'm just gonna buy everything that I come across that I might be interested in. Oh wait, are those grills? Maybe they do know what they're doing. All right, here we go. We're gonna start with Costco first. We're gonna need our paper towels again. All right, so it should, when you separate the legs, it should fall apart easily, okay? The, the legs should come off without much of a problem. That means it's cooked well, okay? So we're gonna look at the dark meat, okay? It's nice brownness. Um, the fat's been rendered off pretty well. The flavor is really good. The, inter the flavor of just the meat, just the dark meat, is really good. It's cooked well. Let's try it with a little bit of the, skin, uh, the chicken skin on it. There are pieces of it that have, the fat has not been all the way rendered, so that makes it a little chewy. And the skin doesn't have much of the seasoning on it, so. I'm gonna show you how to break this down a little later. It's a little messy, but that's what we have the paper towels for. The chicken breast is super moist. Oh my goodness. Um, the seasoning's pretty good. I like a little more salt on the skin, but that's just me. So I'm definitely not mad at it. The see again, not a lot of seasoning on the outside of the skin, but the meat is super juicy still. The skin is well caramelized and well, the fat is rendered out from underneath the skin. So it, I mean, I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna give this eight out of 10. Eight out of 10. Pretty good, pretty good. I wanna take a second out of the video and thank the sponsor of this video, Athletic Greens, with their product, AG1. AG1 is made up of 75 whole food sourced ingredients and is also paleo and keto friendly with less than one gram of sugar per serving. As we begin the new year, I'm really trying to create more healthy habits in all areas of my life. AG1 helps me with that because it's a convenient way to get the nutrients that I need. Now, I've been a AG1 user for about eight months now. One of the main benefits that I notice for daily is a sustained amount of energy. I now rarely have to reach for that 2 p.m. cup of coffee that I used to do every single day. I'm usually not a big breakfast person, so I will drink my AG1 around 10 a.m. to noon, somewhere around that time. I'll sip on it as I'm checking my email. I'm looking what kind of, what video I'm gonna make next. That's when I will go ahead and enjoy and sip on my AG1. It's really simple. You just take one scoop of AG1, you put it in the shaker, you add eight to 12 ounces of water, you shake it, it's done. It tastes great, and it's not really, it's so easy to do, you just do it without thinking about it. Please go to athleticgreens.com forward slash butcher wizard to start your order today. Athletic Greens is offering my viewers a one-year supply of vitamin D3 and K2 and five free travel packs with your first purchase. And again, I just want to thank Athletic Greens and their product AG1 for sponsoring this video. And now we're gonna bring in Team Sam's over here. Let's give it the test. See how, see if the leg comes out. Oh yeah, the leg comes out really well. Really, really well. We'll try the dark meat, this is a little thigh portion here. 
the seasoning is very good. And they out, I mean, it really, the, the seasoning really penetrates into the meat. It's really good. And the seasoning on, on the outside of the skin is about perfect. Um, it's great. It's got a salty flavor, but also an herby flavor. I mean, this is really, really good. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. All right, I want to try. This particular chicken that I got from Sam's is a little more dry. The breast is a little dry, but it makes up for it with the seasoning. I mean, it's the, the flavor is so good. And with the skin portion, I mean, it's the same thing. You gotta have, it's very highly seasoned. It's very well seasoned, I should say. That is a, that's a good bird right there. This is a nine out of 10 right here. It's really good. Let's go find my sous chef. Good girl, good girl. So let's get started with, with breaking down our bird, okay? So we're gonna cut in between the legs and the body. And you're gonna take your fit hands like this and you're gonna pop the hip joints. See how easily those that comes right out? So then we're just gonna, you can just pull those off. Okay, and then we have our whole leg and thigh portion. You can keep them right here, or you can go ahead and go in between and cut in between. And then you have a bone in thigh and a bone in leg. Just feeling around for where the where those two intersect, and then they come right apart. Bone and thigh, bone and thigh. Now here's our first, here's our first chef trick. Okay, this works also great when you're carving your Thanksgiving turkey. Turn the bird over just for a second, and there are these two pockets of meat right here. It's actually kind of, it's called the oyster. Now what it is is just a little pocket of dark meat that's boneless. It doesn't have any tendons going through it. It's like a really great piece of meat, especially like especially when you're doing it on a turkey because it's you know, two or three times this size. But again, this is a little bit of a chef morsel, a little butcher morsel while you're going ahead and breaking this down. So but yep, called the oyster. Little not many people know about this. So cool trick. We're gonna turn the bird back over. Okay, and you can just pull these wings off because they just come off just like that for a rotisserie because it's already cooked. And then down the middle is called the keel bones. What we're gonna do is on either side of the keel bone, we're gonna cut down, okay? Start with this, this side right here. And then what we're gonna do is go down and along the wishbone. So I'm sticking the tip of my knife in this way, going down, down the wishbone. The wishbone goes here to here, okay? And then we can just pull this off. Just going all the way down that keel bone and pull the whole thing off. We come off super easy, just like that. Trying to keep as much skin intact as possible. We'll do that on the other side. Right down the middle of the keel bone. Right to the wishbone and then just use our fingers and we'll pull it off in a big chunk. Just like that. Now, all this, this carcass, okay? We're not, we're not throwing this away. This is gonna go for a stock. It works so good for a stock because you get that roasted flavor. So it's gonna be even better than regular chicken stock. But again, we're saving that. That's going into a stock pot. Now, when you wanna make it look nice, we're gonna take the whole thing and start making little cuts. Now, what I like to do is, because this skin is crispy, you gotta saw just a little bit through the skin and then you can go down the rest of the way, okay? Just to get through the skin, because if you start pressing on this thing really hard, the skin's gonna break off and then you're gonna squish this meat because it's already super, super delicate all the way down. Saw, 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 just to get through the skin and then go down. And that way we're trying to keep as much of the skin intact as possible, but also getting a pretty thin slice. Okay, and there we go. And then you can, you can you know, get, get crazy with it and fan it out on your plate. But you see how we took a $5 rotisserie chicken and we really made something nice out of it. You could pair that with a nice vegetable, roasted potatoes, green beans, something like that, and make a good meal that actually looks pretty good. Again, this is one of my favorite 
This is one of my favorite things to do when I'm, when I'm at Costco and I'm at Sam's. You grab one of those chickens and then tonight for dinner, you can just go ahead and make a really nice dinner in a different way than what most people do, which is just shred the whole thing and make chicken salad out of it. This makes it nice and we wanna make it nice. We wanna have a good, nice meal. If you like this video, click down below for another video. See you next time.